Sir, who knows? It's my pleasure to welcome you to the most sophisticated, beautiful, and intricate science facilities in the entire world. I'll be your guide today. You can call me Sergeant Corey. I can't actually tell you what my real name is for confidential reasons, but I always thought Corey was a nice name. Uh, anyway, we've got a lot of work to do. I'm sure you've already been informed. A giant chicken? Lots of death? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty bad problem. But I have faith in us. We're gonna make a great team. I'm tracking your location, so I'll always know where you are. I'm here to help. Now, enjoy the glamour while you still can. You'll be heading deep into this facility, and I promise you, this is the best that it'll look. Many great games start with long elevator exposition pitches. <laughs> ah, yes, the waiting room. Lovely. All right, our first destination is actually below Just as blinding as I remember. So, uh, find a way to get there. Maybe through a vent? Good luck. I can't remember if you could hear voices in the exhibition hall. I think I'm getting that confused with, uh... Forewarned. Ah, yes, I need a screwdriver. Where might you be? There. I curse flathead screws, but... You know, it is nice. You can use any real-world object like a coin or a... Similar flat tool. Wait, 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 wait. These are Phillips? I feel like I'm set for failure already. <laughs> The screws on this vent are clearly Phillips. Hey, I just want to tell you, you got to be very careful here. You really shouldn't underestimate this thing. If you do see the chicken, just run. Try to hide somewhere where he can't reach you. Easier said than done with a six foot chicken. You know, for years I've been begging for a first-person horror game akin to uh, Alien Isolation for Jurassic Park. And in a way, this kind of delivers because it is a six-foot chicken. Not a six-foot turkey, mind you, but it's close. It's close. Oh, God. <laughs> I wish there was a lean option. Oh, man. You saw it? Uh, be very careful. Make sure you don't let it catch you, uh, obviously. That would be bad for all of us. Um, listen, I know this might seem annoying, but there are three levers down here that you'll need to pull. They'll open the door that's going to let you proceed. And pull them, now, I will. I understand how redundant that may seem. But it's all in the name of security. All right, good luck. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful down there. Oh boy. It's like stepping into an old familiar house. Friend. Tar friend. It's alright, buddy. We'll get through this. It's just a chicken. It's just a chicken. That's all you gotta remind yourself. It's just a chicken. Until you hear the thumping. And then it just doesn't do good to remind yourself because it's still scary. We just moved Sebastian into the red cell while work continues downstairs. I know he isn't really a human. But... I'll make you proud, Sebastian. That's two. Now I've pissed it off. That's what it is. It's the key. So what did you do? Okay, 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was risky. Oh, nothing going on in this room, chicken. Just leave me alone. What the hell's that switch? There it is. Alright. Oh, that's right! The door! I forgot! <laughs> no! Got to eat, you poop ass. Those ass feathers are so brown! <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, give me a chance, dude. Give me a chance. <sighs> Come on. Let me leave. Okay. Good. Oh, we're not good here. We're not good here. We are so not good here. Oh, I forgot! Oh, crap! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Sebastian's gone. I am screwed if that chicken comes around the corner here. Uh, oh. This is, uh... This is where pants get ruined. There it is! There it is! There it is! Down, down, down! Oh! <laughs> It is so not easy to mash the crouch button on a keyboard while running. I haven't tried this game with a controller yet, so I'm not sure if that's a possibility, but... I feel like that'd be easier to pull off. Oh my god. Oh my god, go away, dude! Go away! Yeah, that's right. I know where I need to go. St oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> now I get to play a game where I follow you. Keep going. Oh, get those shit stained feathers out of my way. Go on. Go on. No. 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 That's not even fair. That's not even remotely fair. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh. oh. Keep going, pal. Nothing to see here. No. Ah. Uh. Give me that. Yes. Yes. See ya, chicken. Whew. Okay, the barn. <sighs> wow. So, still just as good. Just as scary. All right, Bye. you made it. Nice job. We're getting closer. Just keep going. Can't wait for the sad uh, pan out on that wall plaque after the game's done. Okay, we are at the barn. A little shrill. Just lets you know you're doing something wrong. It's okay. It's okay. The copious amount of pumpkins in this place. I, I remember that now. Makes me happy. Good stock of pumpkins. Good stock. This is Mrs. Lawrence, Sebastian's new teacher. 
I am here with a progress report. He's coming along very nicely. He's improving in practically every way. Reading, writing, and speaking. I do have one concern. He seems to have scars on his body. I don't mention this in an accusatory way. What happens when I'm not here isn't any of my business. I just thought I would bring it up in case they were self-inflicted. Hmm. I'll be back next week. Again, I, I love the environments in this game. For as simple as they are, it's just fun. It's fun being inside of a barn inside of a building. So I can confirm now, playing this again, that that was probably Sebastian walking past. That's a good scare. Okay, again, speaking on the fact that I have to play this again, I'm actually kind of excited. I, I, I get to see some things and pick some things apart and see if uh, different choices make things easier here. Or if things are loud. Like, I'm wondering if that pipe is over here somewhere so I can grab it beforehand. I doubt the game's going to be that nice and let me do that. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Because I believe it's on this shelf. I could be wrong. I'm probably remembering that wrong. It's probably going to come back and haunt me, but... Alright, here we go. This part sucked, I remember. According to my map, the exit to this area is locked, and it can't be opened from your current location. Looks like you'll need to get up there, where that blue light is. There should be an elevator system that can help you. How convenient. Again, I love the pumpkins. There's so many. Can I do myself a favor here? Bagak, you bastard. Mountain fog. Keep going. That's right. That's right. Take those shit stained feathers into the other barn. No! 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 No, we're not ready to do this yet. Stop! Oh, hey. <laughs> it worked out in my favor. All right, so the pipes are in this room. Wow. Things never work out like that for me. That is pretty nice. Thank you, game. That is pretty cool. <laughs>
chance. Any freaking chance. Where are you even? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> you think you get used to it. You think you get used to a, a six-foot chicken bum-rushing you, but it, it never gets better. Deadly. Alright, so now it's awful because I don't even know if I have the pipes. Shit. Damn it. Okay, so I still have to go back and find the pipe again. That sucks. Oh, you bastard. Get out of here. Come on. Nothing interesting in this barn. Time to leave. Go, go, go. There you go, friend. There you go. Keep going. Give me some time. Wait, do I have the pipes? The pipe location changes. Okay, okay. Good job, Mr. Bassett. You've done well. Provide a little variety to the game. set myself up for failure because the door is closed. Nice try! I knew how long it took. I should probably time it so I know the future, but... No! 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 Did it? <laughs> okay, of course you gotta come back down. Uh, no! 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 So not fair! So not fair! thing. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Love the animations of this thing. Shit. Oh, come on, I didn't even...
full loop. To full loop. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna hang out in here for a little bit, I guess. Leave. Please leave. Set myself up for failure here. Maybe. Maybe. Go up, go up, go up, go up, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right. I, I, I w I'm not going to lie here, uh, going through the game a second time, I was worried that it was going to feel a little cheap because I wouldn't have the initial reactions as I did the first time, but, you know, once you're past the initial, oh, there's a six-foot chicken, it's still tense. There's still plenty of jump scares. There's still plenty of scary moments like that I forgot about. Holy crap! I forgot that that happens! Oh, man. <laughs> ah, yes. You aren't who I thought you were. But that doesn't mutual. mean you're different. What exactly are your intentions? Are you lost? Are you looking for a way out? Or... Are you here to hurt me? You wouldn't want to hurt me. No, never. <laughs> I could learn a lot from you. I want you to stay away. And I really don't think you understand what's going on here. I was able to break free and escape. None of you humans were strong enough to stop me. Others weren't so lucky. They weren't strong enough. But I saved them. And I killed everyone who got in my way. And I won't stop at you. Nor would I expect you to. But for now, I'll give you a chance. Just open that door. Please, chances. And I'll give you your freedom. Now, promise me that... What are you doing? Don't kill yourself yet. Uh, I yes. mean, uh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. How, how did you get here? From where you were, it should be impossible to. This is really strange. Y you shouldn't be down here. We can work with this. Just hang tight. Oh, and if you find any sort of tape recorder, please. Do not play it. There's a lot of confidential information down here. Noted friend. Or frenemy. Not quite sure. I still don't know who to trust. I, I still don't know if I should be trusting Sebastian, which looks like a gooey tar man. Again, looks like the tar monster from uh, Return of the Living Dead. Or if I should trust a unknown voice that's feeding me information. Because that's never ended badly for anyone. You know, Bioshock or System Shock or... <sighs> it's just always better to trust a, a voice from someone you've never met. Oh, still not used to that, dude. It's okay, we can be friends. I reacted poorly to you the last playthrough, and I apologize. This is Eric's audio journal, day 561. Today marks the 20th anniversary of Sebastian's birth, the product of Project Rebirth, the world's first genetically modified human. It can read, write, and even speak. It's incredible! the pinnacle of our discoveries. We 
we still haven't revealed it to the public. We have to wait. The more tests we can do, the better chances we have of improving it. We just need more testing. But it isn't perfect. It... it isn't. And we will reattempt Project Rebirth within the next five years. I don't care what the executives say. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the mother says. We will get this right. Hmm. A tale as old as time. Never listening to the executives. Doing what you want to do for your own sake. Oh, that's such a pretty tomato. You know, had, had he not been so pushy in Robocop, all would have been fine. But, you know, they keep pushing for Ed 209 and nobody wanted that. Nobody wanted that. Joke's on it. It couldn't even handle a staircase. I love seeing pumpkins in every nook and cranny. Pumpkins and hoses. That's what this game should be called. Not chicken feet. You barely even look at chicken feet. Time to go have that conversation with Kevin. Sebastian. Getting names mixed up here. Take back what I said last time. You're a nice man. You're not hideous I don't mean at all. To scare you. You and I, we are not different. I didn't even My notice the revolver Sebastian. last time. That's what they've always called me. You. I've been following you. I've been listening. I know that you don't work here. You are oblivious to what's really going on. I've heard your radio, that voice. I know him. He's not who you think he is. His name is Eric. He created this place. He's the one that has caused us this pain. Eric is evil. He is a monster and he wants to cause more pain. You and I, we can stop him. Otherwise, he is going to kill us, both of us. Eric's using you, and he'll kill you. You're a loose end. You've seen too much. And the chicken. He wants the chicken. That's why he sent you, right? The chicken's name is Cooper. I doubt he told you that. When Cooper broke out, he saved me. And now, Eric wants to capture him again. He wants to cause more pain. I've got a plan. I'll save us. You just need to lure him down here. Just follow his instructions. I'll save you. So, I think it, it warrants being said Bassett, Mr. Bassett, you are a crafty man. I don't know how you pulled this off, but it, it's moments like this that are actually genuinely surprising because I completely forgot I was playing a game about a six-foot chicken trying to kill me. Uh, just having a conversation with Sebastian and being drawn into this, this dialogue here made me forget where I was and what I was doing. So, <laughs> well done. Well done. I truly enjoyed that. Okay, so I figured it out. This place has gas pipes running behind the walls. Uh -huh. 
If we pump sleeping gas into enough. the pipes, okay. we can put the chicken to sleep without damaging it. Mm. And of course, you would also fall asleep, but I'd just wake you up, plain and simple. At this point, that seems to be our only option. So, you'll need to let the gas into the pipes first, then you'll need to release the gas. Simple enough. If this is the last time we speak, before I wake you up, of course, then I'll just say it's been a pleasure. It's times like this I feel honored and, and relieved to have Sebastian on my side. And again, that's right, I'm playing a game against uh, a giant chicken, so <laughs> it just got brought back in. <laughs> So, gotta go down to the small chicken room. Just waiting. Just waiting to go off on me. Not today, buddy. chance that'd be kind of cool come on come on this way yeah there you go thank you thank you oh i ruined it go on instructions we must execute the 43 newly delivered pigs he says they aren't pure enough or something <laughs> order more <laughs> he's also requesting that we produce more rat embryos of uh, type 16 also just a reminder to perform the usual nightly cleaning routine you forgot last time clean the bloodied machinery sweep the floors and uh, dust off the bones and deposit them in the bag I'm oh, pretty and sure uh, this is that's Sebastian Kid. He's not affected by the sleeping gas. Eric isn't happy. Find something stronger. No, oh, one last thing. Those pigs we need to reorder. Eric says he wants exactly ninety-eight pigs. Exactly ninety-eight. Not one hundred. <laughs> ninety-eight. Got that? Mm. We'll be terminated if the count is off by one. <laughs> Eric's words, not mine. Uh, okay, so I missed that backstory last time. Okay. I didn't go through this last time. I went the other way. That's horrifying. <laughs> Actually, no, go in that corner. That's a good spot for you. Damn it. Oh. Ah. 
imagine the amount of disease I'm breathing in as I walk behind that thing. That thing clapping in front of my face. Switches to flip. Oh, wait, I know. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. You have no idea how much this means for the lab. actually learned your name. Not that I needed to, <laughs> or even wanted to. You did well as an intern, and I'm sorry it had to end this way. Your sacrifice is in the name of science. What? Eric. How, how did you... It's over, Eric. It's over. Please, don't. Please! You were never worthy of forgiveness. And for you, I'm so sorry. This world didn't deserve you. And you deserved so much more. You're safe. Thank you. I killed Eric. He's gone. He can't hurt us anymore. Cooper's also gone. It's better this way. He was filled with too much pain and anger. He was never going to return to normal. He deserves peace. For the first time ever, I am free. You and I, we share something special. We are human. I am human. 
ish. Aye. No. I no. am human. No. Don't you don't have to. No. Lack of gunshot. Sebastian lives. All right. Again, Mr. Dylan Bassett, great job. I thoroughly enjoy the game. I didn't know what to expect when I played it the first time, but I'm glad I played through it again because I got a little bit more backstory I didn't see. Seriously. Again, did not expect to enjoy a game about a six-foot chicken this much. <laughs> but when it's for a couple of bucks on Steam, you gotta pick it up and see what it's all about. So, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I took a chance on this one. And again, for all you just getting started either recording YouTube videos or playing around with things, learn from my mistake. Do not delete your videos. <laughs> I know it sounds like common sense, but hey. Again, when I was in the groove, getting music started, and I was gonna download a copy and do some edits and make some shorts. Yeah. It's amazing how muscle memory can mess with you that much. Click, click, even clicking a checkbox and original video is gone. <laughs> oh my god, I still love that. Pay respects to Cooper. Everything that I said about you, Cooper, except for the part where you need to bathe a little more. Alright, so, last time I played, I held off on trying the DLC that was listed on the front page here, Breakout. Come to find out that I have a version that actually has it with it, and I think that comes with the base copy of the game, so let's see what that is about. Give this a little look quick. Are you regretful? <laughs> oh, no way. Am I, am I one of the scientists? <laughs> Okay, that's cool. No way, man. Oh! It's so slow trying to get into a vent. Again, I, I gotta try this on a controller and see if it makes a difference. I haven't done anything to you! Hey. has me cornered. Literally. That's right, buddy. Keep going. Ah. Let's one switch flipped. Oh, come on. Switches. I won't stop till I flip them all. I swear it's 
started. Okay. I wonder if it's three again. Honestly, pretty good luck. Again, these are the nicest HVAC vents I think I've ever seen in a game. The amount of lighting that they put into these things. <laughs> Assholes! No! <laughs> Thank you for your relentless dedication to science. Yeah. Warning, this facility is currently under lockdown. Employees are expected to shelter in place. All exits are locked until further notice. Please contact facility authorities for more information. An oh. error has been detected in the elevator system. Contacting support teams. Take action as soon as possible. <laughs> That's great. I'm curious how far this goes. Just out of reach. Maybe you'll do it. No. Maybe another day. Okay, so there are multiple levels in Breakout. This is going to be its own thing, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, this is cool. Alright. Well, that was just a taste of Chicken Feet Breakout, which is the DLC that comes with the game. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bassett, for making it nice and easy for everyone. So... Yeah, this would be a whole new thing, so join me when I eventually come back to play through all of Breakout, I guess, but thank you for coming along on this ride. Uh, like I said, highly recommend this game. Again, I was kind of surprised. It's only a couple of bucks, picked it up during the uh, spring sale, and it turned out to be far better and exceed my expectations, so I love it. It's a great game. For what it is, it's so much fun and it's so simple. It's Alien Isolation with a six-foot chicken, and what's not to love about that? So, yeah, pick it up. Highly enjoyable. I can't wait to see where this goes. I mean, we already got this DLC, so thank you, Mr. Bassett. You've made a, a, a very nice game. I enjoy it quite a bit. Two thumbs up. Didn't think I'd be giving two thumbs up to a Dr. Brand, horror game about a giant chicken. Another ghost? 2024. Please, just leave me alone. I'm scared. All right, we'll come back to I'm that. I'm taking him. But yes, thanks for joining me along on this trip again, and uh, yeah, tune in next time. I will be doing either this, or there's also a lunch lady game I'm dying to check out, so thanks for coming along, and have a good one.